taken out from the port truss and then ultimately attached to the exterior. It'll be used to store spare parts throughout the uh, future of the space station. And I'm ready, Ricky. The same deal here, Joe. You can break torque with a uh, Bravo 6 counter 3, or you go all the way just uh, 35 turns, and I think you're going to go to Alpha 7 after you break torque, go to the hard stop. Oh, I think so. Okay, I'll Bravo 6 counter 3. Okay. I see Bravo 6 counter 3. And Joe, just a caution, while you're releasing the diagonal, uh, we're not going to lift it more than seven degrees out of rotation plane. Understand. Ricky, six is complete. He has eight turns on it. Great, Swanee, so it looks like you're going to rotate that out of the way if it's not done already. It's going to be there in a second. Copy. All right, Ricky, Alpha 7, counter 2. That's a good read, Joe, and you can go to a hard stop. In work, thanks. Akaba and Swanson are both working on some of the initial steps as part of this task, which are the release of braces on the truss segment, a Sarge brace, and also a diagonal brace. Go from uh, Alpha to Bravo. Yeah, it is. A nice view from about 220 miles up as the vehicle is passing over the northern Atlantic Ocean and just crossing from orbital day to orbital night. As you can see, it's uh, darkness coming into view at the top of the screen. A good view of the northern Atlantic Ocean, and soon the vehicle's crossing over Europe. Yeah, it's slaving away. Finally, good form. That last one had me uh, pitching up and down on that BRT. The KV scope clevis is complete. Happy Swanee, the uh, stow clevis is complete. Uh, Joe's going to finish repositioning the braces, and we'll uh, get together and deploy the UCAS to a deep. 